computer science. It sounds like something that is for super smart people who like doing complicated and boring things on the computer by themselves. Am I right? Well, you couldn't be more wrong. So really, what is this computer science thing that everyone keeps talking about? I mean, we all know what a computer is, what we can do with it, but what does science have to do with it? Well, get ready to have your mind blown. Did you know that computer science is so much more than just using a computer or even coding? And it actually does use science like engineering. Well, I can tell you that if you can write or tell a story, you are already a computer scientist. Because that tells me that you have a desire to express your thoughts and ideas in a unique way that might change the way someone else approaches a problem or situation. Computer science is rooted in computational thinking. That is a big term for using patterns and processes to solve complex problems. The five processes that are commonly used in computational thinking are identification, abstraction, decomposition, debugging, and pattern recognition. Identification is a process of describing a problem, noticing what is frustrating you or might have you stuck in your thinking. Abstraction is the process of looking at all the information you have in front of you and really only focusing on the information and things that you need and ignoring or setting aside the other parts that might not be so useful at the moment. Decomposition is the process of breaking down a large frustrating problem into smaller parts so it is easier to manage. Debugging is the process of analyzing your information and looking for and locating errors or mistakes. Pattern recognition is the process of identifying similarities between items so that you can learn more about them. Moving deeper and beyond computational thinking, computer science allows people to study and think about how computers and technology can be used to solve problems. So once you have an understanding of computational thinking, you can use those processes with technology to do some amazing problem solving and solution finding. Now that we know how computational thinking and computer science are related, we can take what we know, apply processes, identify problems, and find solutions with a solid support system. Think about it. It would be really hard to build a structurally sound bridge without proper support. Using computational thinking and computer science can be a way to support your own bridge. The bridge of problems and solutions. What are some jobs that might use computer science? More than you probably think, and even in areas you might not necessarily think of technology or computer science use at first. Computer science is used in farming to scan soil, detect nutrition, determine the development of seeds, or even planting crops. It is used in restaurants, allowing customers to order and pay with accuracy, allow seat reservations before you even arrive, or even drink suggestions based on a food order. It is also used in entertainment using computer-generated imagery and video production, the use of software to record and edit music, and utilizing AI, or artificial intelligence, to analyze characteristics of artwork. And believe it or not, even in sports and fitness, health and behavior through wristbands can be tracked. Athletic uses of AI allow you to analyze and predict movements, performance, and position. And even trainers use cameras in their rehabilitation. And what about the automotive world? Self-driving cars can make transportation safe and efficient, cameras can be used for traffic monitoring, and even automotive systems can be designed to increase safety and even track environmental footprints of vehicles. Applying what we know about computing systems, networks in the internet, data and analysis, algorithms and programming, and the impacts of computing allow people of all ages to make an impact on the world around them. And what is even better is that computer science is for everyone. Each person has the unique ability to communicate, collaborate, think critically, and be creative while building their confidence along the way. So at the end of the day, computer science is really an awesome art form that allows each person to tell a story, sharing unique perspectives, insights, tools, resources, and implementations, all within the context of identifying problems and finding solutions. It is dynamic and always changing and evolving based on new findings and information. It tells a story that leaves you wanting to read the next chapter and seeing how the story unfolds. So what I want to know, what will your next story be?